Hey guys, I'm Morze. Welcome back to the new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna say with this beautiful graphics mod for your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. You enjoyed the intro, right? So you want to know how to install and how to use? Yeah, my friend, please make sure to watch this video till end, and I will guide you completely how to get this graphics mod into your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started to the video guys. But before we get started, this video is divided into several parts. So first of all, we're gonna talk about about and features of this graphics. Second, we're gonna talk about the system requirements in order to play this graphics on your PC. And third, we're gonna talk about the installation. And fourth, last but not least, we're gonna show you the gameplay proof. So yeah, without any further ado, let's dive into the video guys. So talking about our features, this graphics contains HD water, HD reflection, HD clouds and many more things you cannot imagine. Well, uh, I have seen many of my viewers are watching my video without subscribing to his channel. So it's time to subscribe man, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Well moving towards our system requirements, minimum. You will need at least 4 GB of RAM, a dual core processor and 1 GB of dedicated graphics card. Well, if you don't have dedicated graphics card, don't worry about it. If you have Intel HD, then you can actually play this graphics mode into 20 to 30 FPS, all lowest setting as possible and lo lowest resolution as possible. And talking about our recommended specs, you need at least 8 GB of RAM, GTX 750 Ti graphics card, and a quad core or dual core processor. Well, if you have this type of system requirements, then you can easily play this graphics into 60 FPS. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's dive into the video, guys. So my friends, as you can see, we are in our desktop screen and first thing you need this file. You can check description for more information, right? Now right click on the file and then click on extract here. So once your file has been extracted, then open your extracted file and then simply open your game directory, right? Now once your game directory has been opened, then open SA direct to v1.1 and then you will see the three options. First one is a configuration one, second one is a configuration two and third one is a mod loader. Now if you don't have mod loader, then you can watch my previous videos, right? Now open your mod loader folder and then just drag and drop SIDX data into your mod loader and then hit on replace if it asks. Okay, now go back and you will find a two folder. First one is a configuration one and second one is a configuration two. Now how you will know what you want to install. Now open your screenshot folder then uh, open whichever you, were, you would like to install. If you install the configuration one then your game will some looks like this. And if you install the second configuration, then you have two options. First one is a less gamma and second one is a more gamma. So let's see how our less gamma looks. So if you install the less gamma, so it will something look like this. Okay. Now if you install the more gamma, then it will something look like this. Okay. So I'm gonna show you configuration 2 less gamma. Okay. Just drag and drop all of these files into your game directory and then hit on replace if it asks. Okay. Now you can run your ENB.exe now if you don't have ENB.exe then search on Google ENB.exe or if you have my optional 2.0 folder then you can get it from there also. Okay, now just click on ENB.exe and then your game will 100% start. Alright guys, so as you can see we are in our game and our game looks too awesome, isn't it? But it's little darker. So how can you fix it? Let me show you. Now just hit the Shift plus enter together and then open your ENB lighting.fx. Then you can uh, then find shadow saturation. Then you can uh, increase it little bit and uh, you can play according to your choice. Right. So uh, that's pretty much for today guys. Thank you so much for watching till and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to leave a like on this video. See this video to as much as you can and if you are new then what are you doing? Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. 